In today's do's and don'ts video, we are taking a look at doubles net play and how to get better around the net. In this first mistake, we see players hit a good net return off a serve or a good net shot and then just duck and have the racket down. This makes intercepting what we call a poke or a push past impossible and means our partner will need to cover everything else. What we should be doing is firstly getting our racket up so we can be best prepared to quickly intercept and secondly looking to anticipate this return by getting our feet ready quickly and maybe even leaning back to give us a little bit extra time to execute the shot. If this forces our opponent to lift then great because you've set up your partner the chance to attack. It's worth being prepared to intercept every time because even if we only get one or two of these per game it's worth it because that could be the difference between 20 all and you winning 21-19. Our next mistake we see players make around the net is playing every net like a singles net with our strings facing the ceiling. This is sometimes a good option if you've got a gap at the net because it forces a higher lift as a shuttle will drop closer to the net. If our opponent is at or pressuring the net, this could get us in a lot of trouble or cost us the point as this way of playing the shot makes the shuttle higher above the net. You'll see in these next few examples that this not only gives our opponent time to kill our shot but also makes it more predictable we're going to hit to the net. If our strings are facing up, our opponent knows we can no longer hit a flat shot but only a net or a lift and the net player can move in to attack. When around the net, we should be looking to play a doubles net. This means preparing with our racket head above the hand. This allows us to look more attacking, but more importantly, play our shots flatter and closer to the net. With practice, we can even get our shots to consistently hit the net and go over. We do this by doing what I call a brush down action on the shuttle. This puts the shuttle in an upside down position by the time it gets to the net. And because the weight is in the cork, this will mean it hits the net and goes over making it super difficult for our opponent to return. Coming in with our racket head up makes it look more attacking, keeping our opponent off the net as they might be looking to intercept a flat return and this could be a shot they are not expecting. Using this technique allows us to keep the shuttle tight to the net, making it harder for our opponent to counter attack off of and if they try, we're able to potentially anticipate this and look to intercept. Even if our opponent tries a cross net, we should have time and be ready enough to move across and attack. Even if they don't play the net, or they see we are ready at the front, this might force them to lift. Don't worry, as this is exactly what we want as we are setting up our partner the opportunity to apply pressure from the back. You'll see here how Daryl is playing an attacking push into the tram lines and recovering to the middle. This leaves an easy gap straight down the line for our opponent to exploit and put some pressure onto our partner. This mistake the net player is making is not linking their shots together. What we mean is playing an attacking shot and not really thinking about what the next shot might be. This often means we're just standing at the front and every shot is flying past us, leaving our under pressure partner to get everything else. Yes, we can more easily cover the cross court from here but it's often more difficult for our opponent to cross it if we've played an attacking push into the tramline area. Now knowing it's hard for our opponent to cross the shuttle, we can prepare and anticipate the straight return down the line by bringing the racket up, leaning back and moving our base slightly across. We know our partner has the lift covered, it's hard for our opponent to cross and they might not want to play back to the net because we're already there. So this is often the most common return you might see and therefore great to expect this shot down the line. If our opponent does try to cross, we should be in a decent enough position like Daryl is here to still take the shuttle early, but the opposition has also opened up the court for our next shot to help us maintain the attack. If they play soft back to the net, we should have enough time to change grips if needed and step in to attack the next shot. Getting our position right here, linking our shots together and anticipating the next shot will bring you into the rallies and make you a force around the net in your doubles matches.
If you enjoyed the video and want to see more similar content, then please click here to subscribe. And here are two similar videos you'll definitely enjoy.